Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Discord webhook in HTML, CSS, and JS. So let's get right into it. Um, as always, we're going to go to repwit.com and we can create a repl. I'm going to click HTML, CSS, JS. I would advise that you do this too. And here I'm just going to do webhook tutorial for the title. I'll create the repl. I'll put this link in the description so you can use it and look at the code if you need help. But, um, yeah, that will be in the description. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. If you want a badge, you can keep this on there, but I'm not going to because I don't like having a badge on there. On my page. And right here we can just um, actually start coding. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do a heading. So, an H1 tag. And inside we're going to do send me a message and below this I'm going to do I'm going to do input type text and this will be ID name and placeholder and it will be your name right there and we'll do another we'll do a break right there we'll do input type actually let's do text here yeah, because that will be this will be the message so we're going to want it to be a bigger um, area. And right here we're going to do ID equals message. Placeholder equals your message to me. And I can do slash text area. And right here I'm going to do two breaks. And right here I'm going to do button on click. And inside the quotes I'm going to do message. Function. So we're going to create a message function. So that will be, um, we'll create that in script.js later. But right here, for now, we're just going to do send message. And we'll end the button. And that's actually all we have to do for right now in the HTML file. So let's actually get into script.js. But before we actually create the code for sending a webhook, we need to actually create one in our Discord server. So I'm going to go to Discord, and right here I've already created a server. You can click Add a Server and then Create One if you need to. But I'm just going to click right here and go to Server Settings. And right here you can click Integrations. And as you can see, there's webhooks right here. You're going to want to click Create Webhook. And it's probably already going to create one like called SpideyBot or Captain Hook. And all you're going to do is you're just going to delete this, add a profile picture for whatever you want. But for me, I'm just going to name it the bot thingy webhook. So that's what it's going to be for the profile name. You can name this whatever you want. So you can do like whatever you want the name to be. And you can choose the channel you want, to, you want the messages to be sent in. I'm just going to do general. And then you're going to want to click copy webhook URL. You want to copy this like 15 billion times just to make sure you got it copied. Then we can go to script.js in Replit again. And right here, let's just start coding our message function. So first we're going to do function message. And inside these curly brackets, we can do, um, we can just get all our values that we placed in here. So as you can see, there's a, uh, name value and there's a message value so what we're going to do is we're going to do doc uh, let name equals document dot get element by id name dot value and for the message we can do let message equals document dot get element by id message dot value and these are going to be our values that we're going to put in our message. So, below this, we're going to do const webhook. So, this is a constant. It will never change. You can't change it. And then it will be equals. And right here, we're going to paste our webhook URL that we got. Don't let anybody get this webhook URL. You can spam it with messages if um, they get it. So, don't let anybody get it. But what you're going to do is you're going to... Um, go to a new line after you place a semicolon. And right here we're going to do const contents equals, and right here you're going to put your message contents. So in here for me, I'm going to put um, 
I'm going to put these values along with some breaks and stuff in there so it looks good. So I'm going to do name, and then I'll just do, and you actually have to change these to ticks in order to put the variables in there, so make sure to change these to ticks. I always forget that. Um, and then you can do dollar sign, and then open up some curly brackets. And here you're going to do name, and then you can do slash n, backslash n. And right here I'm going to do message, and I'm going to put the message variable. And once you have that, you're done with your contents variable for constant. And then next you can do const request equals new XML HTTP request. If you don't know what an XML HTTP request is, it's basically requesting a URL and um, it's opening a URL up so you can post stuff to it, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to do request.open and in here we're going to do post. And right here we're going to do webhook. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do request dot set request header this is really important won't work if you don't do it exactly how I show you and you're going to do capital C content so that's going to be content and then you're going to do hyphen type all lowercase type and then you're going to do application slash JSON in here all lowercase once you're done with that you can put a semicolon here I'm going to do const params so these are going to be the parameters for the post that we send to the webhook and right here I'm going to do contents and I'm going to put content or content and then I'm going to put contents right here and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do request.send and we're going to do json.stringify to make the parameters that we defined here a string just in case they're not and then we're going to do params and we're going to put a semicolon right there. And once you have this, this is actually your message function done. So I believe we can actually run the website and test it out. So let's open in a new tab. It says send me a message. I will. I will do Tom must be 12. And right here I'm going to do I I I like your videos yeah and then right here if we go in discord as you can see we're at actually in the settings for that right now but you can just go to general and right here you can send message and if we go in general as you can see it's going to say the bot thingy webhook which is what our name was and it's going to say name thomas p12 and it's going to say message hi i like your videos yeah so that's actually how to create a webhook in Discord. Thank you for watching. Thomas B12 out.